today I'm going to show you how to use our dynamic bracing family for bracing uh, heads and bases of uh, load bearing towers. So the first uh, task is to set the um, working plane to the top of the frame tube. So we do that like this and then we can uh, shift back the uh, head to the tower. Then we take our family and place it on the working plane. <coughs> so, uh, if we have a look from the top, it's just a simple tube with two uh, couplers. This, uh, ha uh, this family has four parameters. Uh, frame spacing is the distance between the center to center distance between the two uh, couplers. Horizontal offset is the distance from the center in this direction and that direction to the center of this um, coupler. So if we want to rotate it up to here, we have to uh, move it to, let's say, 300 uh, millimeters to, to plus or minus in this direction. Z1 and Z2 are the um, uh, distance from the insertion plane to the uh, left and to the right coupler. Uh, <coughs> and switch to frame bracing, I'll show a bit uh, later. Uh, I'm going to use it later. So. Now, the first step is to uh, open a, a, a 2D view uh, above the tower, uh, which I created a pretty a simple section. And from this three, uh, 2D view, we can use a line in order to align the family, like this. <coughs> and then from here to here. And then the next step is to, we can go directly in 3D and look for it. So the first step is to adjust the spacing. Spacing, uh, the frame spacing is um, two meters. <coughs> and there we go. Uh, we look from the side, we can see that the coupler is already on the leg, on the head, and the other one is in the center as well. So from here, we start by adjusting the Z point. This is around 300 millimeters. So let's start with 300 and Automatically this goes up. It can go a little bit up uh, higher, so we can do 320. And there we go. We have the first play, um, coupler placed in the correct position. The second one would be <coughs> to lower uh, this coupler to here. At the moment, the center of the coupler is at the top of the frame. And um, from the system specification, the distance between the top of the frame and the tube is 155 millimeters. So we can place on Z2 the number minus 155 which will automatically lower the coupler to here. Then we can look from the top and we can see that the um, a tube is parallel to uh, the diagonal, but it's not catching actually the frame because it's on the outside of it. So we can crack this one with the other parameter called horizontal offset by setting a value of, let's say, 150. This is going to shift it. And if we look from here, we see that currently we're colliding with the diagonal and the frame. So we can add this one to, let's say, 200. And if we look from here, we see now the coupler is perfectly uh, positioned and orientated to on the plane, on the tube and the uh, tube on the frame uh, and the scaffold tube and the other one. So this is the correct result for bracing one. Then, in order to cross brace this uh, same plane, we can simply copy this and using spacebar, we rotate this one two times. We go again into the section and <coughs> we do a line. Then, um, now it's a little bit difficult to see where this uh, head is to, uh, the, the coupler is to a line, so we can just move it and do another align from here to here. And that's it. So now we go 3D, adjust the distance of the tube to 2000. And if we look carefully from the side, you can see that the coupler is already in the correct position because it's using the same parameters as uh, the other one. And Z1 is already at 320, so it's exactly in the correct position. Uh, if we go ahead and un, uh, make it in wireframe, you will see that this one is also in the correct position. So the only thing that we have to make uh, to change here is just shifting the um, horizontal offset. So let's try minus uh, 50. And let's have a look from here. 
and this is actually pretty good value it doesn't touch anything it goes grabs the tube and uh, doesn't hit the head or the other tube so this is uh, quite nice by the book bracing uh, on the, in the diagonal direction then the other thing that we can do is we can just simply copy this one and <clears throat> in the plan view in the 2d view we rotate it uh, two times yeah and then we can use it for um, frame direction bracing so we do the same alignment uh, let's do it first in this direction and then let's do it in the other direction and um, let's do it let's say um, shorten it to one meter and let's have a look from the 3d view okay so far so good uh, the left one is in the same level as the other one because we copied it but this time this is not good because we have on the same head on the same level two couplers but the solution here is very easy we just select it and from 320 we make it 250 and this one goes below the other one and they're not touching each other anymore they're not they're no, no more collision so <clears throat> the this coupler as you can see is exactly in the center of the tube but unfortunately it needs to rotate to the side and in the other direction uh, and also the the whole tube needs to go down so as you can see it's quite close to it it's in the center but it's still not grabbing so how do we fix this we go in flame view and first we zero out the horizontal uh, offset we put it to zero like this and then if you look from here you can see that it's in the exact perfect position but it's not clamping uh, so the, here where the last parameter that we discussed and um, I told you uh, to show later is the switch to, to frame bracing is doing this whole magic so you just click it and apply and automatically readjust the tube so it grabs the, um, the tube on the frame and also this is quite far from this diagonal so we can just simply make it uh, 1200 and it's going to automatically come to the correct place we're away from the diagonal so this is again the full bracing i mean we have to repeat this on this side and these two on this side to have a proper bracing of um, the load bearing tower but uh, yeah this is pretty much how we do bracing according to the user information for our systems with um, our dynamic tube bracing family if you have any more questions please let me know I hope you learned something. Thank you.